All right, we're going to graph x cubed and negative x cubed on the same graph. And those are very simple graphs, basic cubic functions. So I'll sketch both of those and then we're going to answer some questions about them. We'll need to know their domain and range. So for both of them, you can plug in any x value you want. You never get any problems like dividing by zero or negative square root, square root of a negative number. So the domain is all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. The range for both of these functions is also all real numbers. That's because these graphs go down forever and they go up forever. So domain and range are both negative infinity to positive infinity. Uh, I tried to organize this well but I wasn't careful enough. It looks a little messy, um, but I think you can see what I'm doing. So for h of x, that's the original x cubed. I'll answer those questions on the left. And then for f of x, that's negative x cubed. I'll answer those on the right. So we've talked about domain and range for both of those. For increasing, um, for h of x, as you move from left to right, it's increasing the whole way. So that's the entire domain. It's not decreasing anywhere. As you move from left to right, the y values never go down. It's not flat and constant anywhere. It's continuous everywhere because the graph isn't broken at any point. So um, those questions aren't very interesting questions for this function. Same thing for f of x. It's it's a very simple function. The domain and range are the same as they were for h. Here's where it starts to get messy. If you look at f of x, though, um, and you think about where it's increasing, as you move from left to right on f of x, your y values go down forever. They don't ever go up. So it's not increasing anywhere. It's decreasing on the entire domain. Um, it's never constant, and then it is continuous everywhere as well. So those are pretty simple.